This Super Bowl will be the first one ever to be played outdoors in a cold weather city. For a look into how the NFL is preparing for this game, we bring in Stephen Brunn, who's joining us today from our Sportsnet studios in Toronto. Now, Stephen, 47 years straight of indoor or warm weather cities for the Super Bowls. Why change it now? Well, I think it's, this is very much Roger Goodell's statement. Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the National Football League. The, the league is based in New York. The league has a long and storied history in New York. And I think in some ways this goes all the way back to September 11th and the idea of you know, New York doing something, making a gesture, the NFL making a gesture to go into New York and have their championship game there. It's the center of the media universe. In a lot of ways, it's the center of the United States. Um, it's risky, but I think it's, this is about the NFL saying we're going to plant our flag right here. You know, it's difficult to know the weather this far out, but if New Jersey gets hit by a storm like some are predicting, uh, how will the NFL react? Well, you know, this is a league that plays outdoors in the winter, so that's the first thing to remember. In terms of football, they can play in Green Bay in January, they can play in Chicago in January, they can play in Buffalo in January, so it's not like they're immune to playing in the winter. It's very much a winter league. But it, with the Super Bowl, it's more the logistics. It's a, how do you get all these people in? How do you get them out? How do you run all the events around a Super Bowl? And it's, in a place like New York, that's going to be complicated anyway because of tunnels and bridges and going back and forth between Manhattan and New Jersey where the stadium's actually located. So there are contingency plans apparently to move the game to a Saturday if they have to, if the blizzard of the century is coming on a Sunday, to push it back to a Monday or a Tuesday. But I would think it would take something extraordinary for this game to either be moved up a day or to be pushed back a day. The, the Super Bowl machinery is just so complex and enormous that it's not as simple, not as simple as just saying we'll kick it off 24 hours later. As you know, speaking of the, of the enormity of the Super Bowl, does cold weather you know, really create an unfair advantage for a team unaccustomed, you know, accustomed to these conditions? It, it can change things for sure. You know, there are teams that are built, and especially the way the NFL game is played these days, it, you know, it is a very much an offensive, up-tempo game. There are teams a lot of no-huddle. It's a passing game. That's certainly easier to do on a fast track, you know, whether that's in a warm weather, weather place or whether that's indoors. There are teams that are built. You know, the New Orleans Saints a dome team, an offense built for indoors. Uh, but I think traditionalists would tell you, you know, football is a game that's played outdoors. And, you know, it's, there are things that are harder to do on a cold day, on a wet day, on a snowy day. And part of the, the challenge of the game is that you adapt. Um, if we're in a blizzard, obviously a team that can run the ball, uh, can grind it out, can play a sim simplify their game, is going to have an advantage over a finesse team. Uh, but, you know, I, I think... You know, I honestly think that you know whoever ends up in that game is going to come prepared, you know, to deal with you know either the either terrible conditions or you know a reasonable cold weather day. Uh, well, Stephen, thanks for your insight on this. We'll be looking forward to that game for sure. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Wilder.